Got some help on the bench as well as to the Wizards. Davis Bertans has been great playing starter-like minutes. Lou Williams for L.A. also really special off the bench. Clippers and Wizards coming up. Who had a better week off the bench in the NBA than Davis Bertans last week? Averaging 21 points and shooting 52% from behind the arc. But was it a byproduct of a lot of the Wizards attacking the basket? Scott Brooks in his pregame gave a lot of credit to Brad and Ish Smith penetrating and giving Davis those open opportunities. He's the best in the league in catch and shoots. And guys, keep this in mind. He's tied for third in the NBA with 78 threes made already. Only James Harden and Devontae Graham, who might be the clubhouse leader, Drew Gooden, for most improved, have more. My question to you, Drew, is that a byproduct of Beal and Smith attacking the basket? Uh, along with me crediting Davis Bertans as the greatest <laughs> shooter of all time. I think with me saying that gave him even extra confidence to knock down that three, Chris Miller. Let's just get him in a three-point contest at All-Star Weekend. Let's take Chioza. Back to Bertans for three. Bertans knocks his first shot down. Doc Rivers is yelled at Jermichael Green. Bertans. It's short. And hang on. We're going to have a foul. No, he's not that short ever on a three. And that goes back to the play we talked about earlier. Was it a block or was it a charge? Because we didn't hear no whistle. But now on this, you got to call something because he's not going to air ball four feet short of the rim. So what happened? He got fouled. Thank you. We're not going to give him a block. He got hit right there on the forearm elbow. Davis Bertans. He is playing starters minutes with the injuries, and he is stepping up his game. Shows the potential that Davis can bring. And he's one of those guys. You play him 10 minutes, he's effective. You play him 20 minutes, he's a 20-point games off the bench. This Clippers team has a couple of huge guys, and here's Bertans on that leaderboard, knocks down the three again. That's unbelievable. Mo Harkless knew it was coming. And it's gonna have Paul George or Kawhi Leonard in the game. Bench doing a great job. Mahimi finds Bertans underneath for the bucket. Here comes Troy Brown Jr. Back to Bertans. Hachimura. And this time he will finish. Wizards are still in striking distance. The Wizards. He's got 11 in the game. Bertans for three. Yes! It's only a matter of time, and a timeout taken there by Doc Rivers. 17 off the bench for Davis, four of seven from three-point land. You know he's got the respect of Rivers and the Clippers when they've been putting Kawhi Leonard on him. Bertans, no Leonard this time, knocks down the three. It's Beal with Smith, Hachimura, Bertans, and Troy Brown Jr. on the floor. Leonard gets switched. Bertans got a hand on it. Up ahead, here's Troy Brown Jr. for the easy dunk. But this is what happens when you get deflections and stops. You have to get out and run, and the game becomes fun. For the Clippers. It's been the Kawhi Leonard show right now, though. Bertans, great defense, knocks it away. Here's Chioza. Bertans for three. Yes! Kidding me? I'm just gonna act like that's not even happening. 20 for Davis Bertans, five of eight from three. Williams comes up short. Bertans has the rebound. Chioza. Chioza goes to the hoop, puts it in. Got hit on the face. Shimura. Back for Brown into the corner. Bertans for three. This crowd wants it. They get it. Doc Rivers has willed his hand. Bertans, definitely a deadly weapon. Let me check this out. He had Paul George on the pump fake right there, but. The Clippers will move to 17-7 and seven on the season, while the Wizards will fall to 7-15.